wheat flour is approximately 75% carbohydrate and 7 to 15% protein. Gluten is the name for the major water and soluble fraction of protein in wheat. It is what gives wheat flour the ability to hold gases to create a light dough with many trapped gas pockets from yeast activity, chemical leaveners, or steam. Gluten formation begins when wheat flour is mixed with water. The water partially hydrates the two proteins that combine to make gluten, gliadin and glutenin. This partial hydration unfolds the protein exposing nonpolar amino acids and the sulfur-containing group of the amino acid cysteine. Due to this unfolding, the gluten proteins come together and associate by both weak hydrophobic interactions and stronger disulfide bonds between adjacent gluten proteins. These interactions tie the gluten proteins together into larger networks. Kneading further develops and aligns gluten proteins, creating the extensible network capable of retaining expanding gas bubbles. Gluten proteins can be thought of as spring-like structures. Neighboring proteins are connected by disulfide bonds. Kneading stretches out the spring-like proteins, which creates stress on the disulfide bonds, which eventually breaks them. When these bonds break, the gluten proteins relax and coil back up. After this occurs, new disulfide bonds are made with new neighboring proteins. This is the reason why dough becomes more and more elastic as it is kneaded. The proteins become more and more stretched out and at a certain point will resist further stretching, allowing the dough to relax, the original disulfide bonds to break, and new ones to reform causes the dough to become pliable once again. Once the gluten network is well developed, it is elastic enough to expand as more and more gas is produced during the initial stages of baking. The retention of these gas bubbles is what leads to a light, airy loaf of bread. Bread made from other grains, which have much less gluten protein, are denser and not as much gas can be retained in these doughs. Gluten-free doughs can be made using pure starches and hydrocolloids such as xanthan gum which mimic some of the functionality of gluten in the retention of gas. Formation of gluten can be reduced by the inclusion of fats in the recipe, as these physically prevent gluten proteins from making contact. As a result, the gluten aggregates are smaller and shorter than they would be, which is why adding fat is called shortening the gluten. In whole wheat doughs, the pieces of bran physically get in the way of forming large gluten networks, and thus whole wheat doughs tend to be denser than those not containing bran. Alcohol added to a dough also prevents gluten formation as the gluten proteins dissolve in the alcohol and thus do not unfold to make contact with each other as they do in water. Celiac disease, or gluten intolerance, is an extremely rare condition where one's immune system mistakenly recognizes gliadin as a pathogen and mounts an immune response against it, resulting in inflammation of the gut tissue, which interferes with proper digestion and absorption of food nutrients. Only a very small proportion of the population has true gluten intolerance.